Here's what it looked like. The WIC 338, Southwick, Massachusetts, Moto 1. The Lawrence brothers are unreal on these starts. It's going to be jet knifing to the inside of Hunter. Yep, Jet got up the inside. Hunter got there first. Huge hole shot. He was so far in front, just ran a little bit deep. And then Jet got out front like he's been doing and put on a clinic on how to ride the sand and how to manage the race. And it was up to the, everyone else to try to catch him. They couldn't do it. Hunter kept it close for a while. Jet managed it well. And they put distance between themselves and Sexton. And that was really about it for this one. It's a good battle here between Harry Kulas, Alvin Osland, rider from Estonia, rider from Sweden. Yeah. Osland tries to make the pass here. Yeah, he tried making a pass a couple times and end up wasn't able to get around Harry and it falls over. Tough break for him. Anytime you fall in the sand, you're just like, oh, that bike's heavy, it's smoking. You're probably smoking underneath that helmet <laughs> from how hot it was. But And then you had the fever. Speaking of hot, there it is. He comes in and give Harry a little bump. Right there, after you got the baseball signal from Big J over there, hey, you better pick it up. I don't know who that is, but you better pass him, son. <laughs> and uh, Malcolm was able to do it and kept continuing up. Oh, your dad's pumped. Third place of that race, so good job by him. But man of the day has been the man of the year so far. The number one plate right there. Yeah, this looked like it was going to be another one of those days. Jet Lawrence holds away. Fourth moto win in a row. And he had the weekend off before this, so we're thinking the shoulder and all the injuries from the big crash at Hangtown, we're starting to heal up. But Moto2, it's just does not look like a guy who's enthused about another 30 plus two here. Yeah, I mean, all these guys, they know it's going to be a tough, tough race. But to me, like listening to him on the podium talking about his legs, that's probably what that was. So it wasn't necessarily his shoulders, his, his legs and being hurt made him use his legs more. But look, he was out front and what's Massive the thing? first turn crash. Yeah, a huge yeah. first corner crash that got Justin Barsha, my brother. A lot of guys, Jason Anderson was down in that. So looked like Jet Lawrence, just like the first moto, was going to be able to manage his way around some of those issues that he might have had and pull away. But then Chase Sexton wanted to get one Lawrence got on the inside of Hunter Lawrence, made an aggressive pass, clean pass, just an aggressive one. Hunter thought by going up the inside, he thought better of it. And then Chase Sexton set his sights after Hunter Lawrence, I mean Jet Lawrence. And then Hunter comes back. Then Hunter didn't like that. He thought he would go up and Hunter was really fast there. I think Chase Sexton picked up on that later on in the race, but then Hunter Lawrence got that toe. And it seems like when guys got the rhythm, they were able to keep that going. And Hunter just kept going and got around his old younger brother and Jet. And at this point, Hunter was in position to get his first ever 450 overall win in pro motocross and stretch the points lead that he already has. But this race was far from over. Yeah, it was far from over. Like Hunter pulled away and then Jet just stayed there. Hunter went off the racetrack, allowed Jet to close in on him. And then he made the move. And at that point, Chase Sexton was still about six, six, seven seconds behind him. And the next thing you know, the number four just came roaring up. First, he gets around Hunter Lawrence with a grown man pass over here. Goes around the outside of him. Hunter tried getting there, but this little off-camera chase was not to be denied. And why not go after the other guy? Your nemesis and Jet Lawrence. And boy, he was coming. He must have saw Hayden Deegan, how he was doing it. He flew around the outside. Jet Lawrence jumps out. Tries to catch him again, but Jet Lawrence didn't have anything for Chase Sexton at this moto. Chase was going. So Chase, a big second Moto win, but with the third in Moto 1, he only ends up 3-1, and Jet Lawrence is going to go 1-2, and that'll be enough to preserve the overall win. Three straight overalls, Thunder Valley, High Point, and Southwick for the number one. And they got to give Sexton the props for that one. These guys were pretty smoked at the end, and Sexton had the strength down the stretch. And you look at the overall results here, it's championship point scored total that determined the overall, and Jet with the 1-2 scored the most today.